Hello, I'm Dr. Victoria Vetter. I'm a pediatric cardiologist and the medical director of Youth Heart Watch at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. This video will demonstrate the use of an AED in conjunction with CPR to help save lives from sudden cardiac arrest. An AED is an important step in the chain of survival because it can analyze or read the heart's rhythm and when appropriate, deliver a shock to restart or reset a heart's electrical signal and save someone's life. AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator. It is important to know how to use an AED because a victim's chance of survival decreases by 10% every minute after a sudden cardiac arrest. You can help save a life by retrieving and using an AED before EMS arrives. Anyone can use an AED. It's quite easy to use and cannot harm the victim. Adult AED use. Assess victim and get AED. If an adult collapses or is found unresponsive, have someone call 911 and get an AED immediately if one is available while you begin CPR. If you are alone, call 911 and retrieve an AED before beginning CPR. Follow AED prompts. Once the AED is on site, open the unit and turn it on if needed. The unit will give you verbal instructions to follow. Tear open package and remove pads. If you have help on site, continue CPR while the AED is being set up. Plug the electrode cable attached to the pads into the unit if they are not already connected. Electrode pad placement. You should then open the electrode pads and place them on the victim's bare chest as shown on the pad pictures. One over the victim's right chest, just below the collarbone, and the other on the left side of the victim's chest, below the left nipple. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Peel second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. The position is to allow the shock to discharge across the heart. Rhythm analysis and shock delivery. The unit will analyze the heart's rhythm and tell you to stop compressions. If a shock is advised, tell all to stand clear of the victim and not to touch anything. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Allow the AED to assess the rhythm and advise shock delivery or not. Unit will tell you if you will have to push the shock button. Shock advised. Or if it will automatically deliver a shock. Continue CPR. After the shock is delivered, resume CPR until the unit analyzes again. If a shock is not advised, continue compressions. Continue the cycle until the victim is responsive or until EMS arrives. If the victim wakes up, do not remove the pads from their chest. It is not uncommon for another arrest to occur with the need for another shock. AED use, child and infant. Assess victim and get AED. Using an AED on a child or infant is very similar to an adult. If you witness a child collapse and they are unresponsive and not breathing, call 911 and retrieve an available AED immediately while someone begins CPR. If you are alone and find the child is on the ground without witnessing the arrest, Call 911 on the speakerphone and begin CPR. Perform two minutes of chest compressions and rescue breaths before you leave to retrieve an available AED. Follow AED prompts. Once the AED is on scene, open the unit, turn it on if needed, and plug in the child or pediatric pads if available. Electrode pad placement. If the unit only has adult electrode pads, they are safe to use on a child. Place one pad in the center of the child or infant's chest 
and one on the center of the back of the chest. Rhythm Analysis Shock Delivery Lay the child flat on their back and resume CPR until the AED tells you it is analyzing the heart's rhythm. The unit will tell you if you have to push the shock button or if it will automatically deliver a shock. If shock is advised, tell all to stand clear. Everyone clear. Continue CPR. After shock is delivered, resume CPR until the unit analyzes again. If a shock is not advised, resume compressions. Continue this cycle until the victim is responsive or until EMS arrives. If the victim wakes up, do not remove the pads from their chest. It is not uncommon for them to experience another arrest and need another shock. Let's review the steps of using an AED again. First, assess the victim and get an AED. Next, follow the AED prompts. Tear open package and remove pads. Place the electrode pads on the upper right chest and on the lower left chest. Allow the AED to analyze the rhythm and advise shock delivery or not. If shock is advised, tell all to stand clear. Continue CPR whether shock is delivered or not. Let's review the steps of using an AED on a child or infant again. Assess the victim and get an AED. Next, follow the AED prompts. Then place the electro pads on the anterior chest over the breastbone and on the center of the infant or child's back. Allow the AED to analyze the rhythm and advise shock delivery or not. If shock advised, tell all to stand clear. Continue CPR with rescue breaths, whether shock is delivered or not.